What is up everybody? I'm so excited to finally make a YouTube page and put content on it for all of you guys. I'll just get right into it. This first video is a daytime investigation of a property that we had done a project at all of June. Now the history behind this location, which is in Malibu, California, is it was settled by a huge group of Chumash Indians. Um, also has been through a lot of natural disasters such as earthquakes, storms, mudslides, and a lot of wildfires. Most recently, November 2018, it got completely burned down, to be honest. And so all that history, all of that energy is still there, chock full of it, and I just could not help but say, hey, I wanna bring some equipment. My line producer and I um, spent about an hour up in the mountains just seeing what was there and this is what we caught i hope you guys enjoy are you a part of a tribe a native american tribe what what tribe are you from so as you can see we start off by really asking who's there, what tribe were you from? Just to see if we had any intelligent entities going on. Nothing was happening, nothing was coming through the spear box. So I just stuck to basic questions. I told Bill, who's the line producer, just ask basic questions, you know, male or female, how old are you? This is what we got. How old are you? To the woman who keeps speaking with us, how old are you? That was a kid. It sounded like a kid that's... What's that mean? We were absolutely mind blown by what came through the spear box. And I say this a lot during an investigation for those of you who have either watched me or investigated with me. It's not just what comes through the spirit box, it's the energy that flows through the spirit box that you feel, especially as an empath like myself. Hearing this child come through, he's saying nine, it didn't only sound amazing, it felt, you could feel the energy and it was absolutely incredible. Can you tell us the man who takes care of this property? Do you know who that is? Do you know what his name is? We start asking questions about a man named Brad, who is the caretaker of the location that we're at. He's there every single day for eight to 10 hours, going up and down these mountains, making sure everything's clean, everything's put together, just taking care of it. So doing that, as a lot of you know, spirits will be attracted to that. If you take care of the property that they're at, they're gonna be attracted to you. Well, we appreciate you letting us be here because we enjoy the tranquility and the peacefulness of this place. And we want you to know we treated it with respect. As we're taking any trash with us, we're not we're leaving it undisturbed as we found it to show respect. Cool? It's kind of like cool. That's definitely what it said. The devil said cool. Uh, it's bad, yeah. It was sound is just like bad. This spirit mimicked Brad. I'm not even joking. The voice that came through was identical to Brad. It wasn't only his tone, it was the way the spirit said the word cool. He's just a very chill kind of guy who answers just like that. So getting that voice was uh, again, mind blowing. After we got these two voices, we are absolutely stunned by what we've captured so far on the spear box. Again, this is Bill's first time ever investigating, so he is absolutely mind blown, along with me, who's been doing this for over 10 years. So we make our way to the cave where we got even more intelligent responses. Can you name the city that we're in? What, what city are we in right now? I did not just say Malibu. That's what I thought. It said Malibu. Yes, that is correct. We're in Malibu. Good job. 
Sometimes just asking the basic questions will get you the most intelligent responses. You can see here, we are in Malibu. It clearly answers Malibu, but not only that, a separate entity, a female entity came through and said, Ensignal, we are literally off of a road called Ensignal Canyon Road. I didn't know we captured this until I started editing this footage. Ensignal, and then it's like the man said, oh, correct. It was like they were having a conversation. Well, I want, I want to thank you for allowing us to come and be on your property. We want you to know we respect it and we took care of it by going around the property and picking up whatever trash we may have left behind to show respect to the property. So as you see, for a second time, Bill starts talking about respecting the property, we get another voice coming through saying respect. So you can clearly tell that these spirits that are on this canyon, that are on this mountain, really do appreciate nature and the way that people respect it that are there. I'm telling you right now, like I'll just be straight up honest with you, like I really, really feel like a lot of times when we do what we're doing, yeah. the spirits are like, eh, what are they up to? But I feel like the spirits around us are closing in. Like I feel like a lot, like this cave is smaller. Like they're, they're attracted to us talking right. to that. Well, I, I just I just appreciate the fact that they're here, they're communicating, mm -hmm. and we treat them with respect. Yeah, and they they clearly treated us with respect. Yeah. It's it's a it's a really good energy. Body, yeah, it's a good energy. So after all of the voices coming through the spirit box and just the feeling I was having, I just wanted to write something in the sand. So as I'm writing the word thanks and drawing a heart, this is what happens. Did you just hear that? It goes like it. Wow. It just said like it. Cause I've heard it. I don't Whoa. So we just wrote thanks, like thank you, and then a heart to show that we love you guys, we love the property, we loved our month here, and we really hope to come back, and we hope you guys are doing okay on the other side, and you guys are living the best life in the afterlife that you can, and we hope that it's all good white light. The children, too. Hopefully the children, hopefully you guys are, are, are happy you're here. What? It's, it's not like it said we are. Like we are. Do you want to say anything else, Bill? No. I just want to say again, thank you for letting us be a part of the property and the land. We show respect, we show love, we show peace. The door. You're in the door. You're in the doorway. All right. Well, we're gonna see ourselves out of the door. Thank you. My overall thoughts of this location are obviously wow. I mean, I had no idea we would get not just all of these voices through the spirit box, but intelligent voices, intelligent conversations between spirits. You know, this had to have been the first time these spirits had any communication with the living. Um, I thought the energy was very beautiful, very welcoming, and very positive. Um, I would love to go back and do an even longer investigation here. And um, I will get Bill's thoughts on it for my next video. I'm going to do a lot more investigations, hopefully daytime, nighttime. Uh, and guys, I just thank you so much for watching this video. I will catch you on the other side.